What's up everyone? I am Ryan. I am Adam. And we are the Boston Brothers V2. And we are back with another video. It's been like a month or something since we've done a video, but we are here now to do this one. And we're going to Night of Champions here tonight in Boston. NOC. We're heading in and this is actually like late for us because it's like 4.48 right now. You know, the Pats are playing today, the home opener, so we weren't going to head in early to like, uh, to like try to meet people in the parking lot and shit, so we uh, watched the Pats. And they lost, and I'm losing to uh, Danny, the man with the question mark face in fantasy football. I'm losing to him there, too. I think so. I'm losing to Bridge, too. Yeah, so fuck football. We're going in for a uh, night of champions. Adam, what do you expect tonight to see a night of champions? Uh, I see, like, a, this is a good card for a night of champions. Like, I uh, got a lot of heat on Twitter, and people are making videos about it uh, and their predictions. But I actually like the card, uh, specifically the main event, obviously, which is CM Punk versus John Cena. I expect that to be a pretty damn good match. Uh, probably not as good as their Money in the Bank one, but should be up there. And, uh, of course, I'm wearing the Daniel Bryan shirt, as you can see. That tag team of Kane and Daniel Bryan, I'm loving that. And uh, I just can't wait to see, and hopefully they capture tag team gold. What do you expect, Ryan? Uh, like, yeah, like you were saying, like a lot of people are like shitting on the card and like saying like it's a rematch card. But, I mean, Cena and Punk is a rematch to what? Money in the Bank 2011, I'll take that. Like, I'm expecting great matches tonight from Cena and Punk, and I'm also looking forward to the most, probably in second place to the Cena and Punk, the uh, Orton and Ziggler. Those two are probably uh, my two favorite in-ring workers in WWE right now, so I can't wait to see that. I hope it uh, comes off as what I think it will be. But, um, yeah, so we're going to head in there. We're on our way right now. Hope you all stick around. We'll uh, be back when we get closer to the garden. So stick around, WWE NOC, baby. Yeah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. TD Garden. Here we go. The place will be rocking tonight, hopefully. There is halftime pizza. Right across from the garden over here, show that. Yeah. You might want to get that in. <laughs> yeah, we ate here. Royal Rumble 2003, that was the only time when we were with our dad. He took us here. So we're going to be eating here again. If you see the surroundings, the garden, the marks outside. Let's Dylan go. Dylan is over there. Let's get I some pizza. Bet. Dylan's over there somewhere. Somewhere. Get some pizza. When you confront your own mortality, you realize, what am I going to leave behind? I'm never going to have children. I might not see my husband grow old. What have I done? I'm sitting here today with two years. So we are at the Kowloon right now, of course, but before we go up there, we wanted to talk a little about Night of Champions, right Adam? Yeah. So uh, what would you think of it? We'll start right out. I thought it was a good show. I wouldn't really say great. Uh, the only thing I'd really say was great was uh, main event, John Cena and CM Punk. They tore it down. I thought that was a really good match. And uh, uh, you already know that the highlight of the night for me was seeing Kane and Daniel Bryan win the tag team titles. That was just great stuff there. Yeah, the uh, the highlight of the night for me was when Cena won, but then I guess Cena didn't yeah, win. Yeah, we were like slapping hands with people and everything. Yeah, like random people in the crowd all for nothing because uh, they reversed the call. But I felt like that match was awesome. Like, that was the match that really got me out of my seat. And that's the match we both really came alive for. Like, nothing else really other, like, stood out except for this match, of course. This is something that you, like, want to buy the DVD for is to have this match, I think. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, like, I also want to talk a little about that match. I mean, we got to talk about Cena and the pink. Uh, you see me still rocking the green Cena. Like, you know, I've I've worn the red Cena. I've worn the orange Cena. I've worn the purple Cena in public, like, one time. But I can't do the pink. This is the thing with the pink shirt. Uh, he'd want you to buy that more than any, any other one of his shirts. At least I think that's the type of guy Cena is because the money goes to the breast cancer research. Yeah, like, it's a great cause, obviously. Like, I'm not some asshole, and I'm like, oh, that cause sucks. Like, I like the cause, obviously, but I don't know. Just can't, just can't put pink. 
Can't do that. You wouldn't wear the Dolph shirt? Oh. <laughs> this isn't a video about shirts anyways. It's about WWE NOC. Just shooting on shirts here. And pink shirts for some odd reason. Mm. That, what do you think of that pink rope, actually? Get the off topic again. Yeah, that pink rope like was like <laughs> random, like right in the middle. Like you didn't even notice it at first. I was like, hey, is that a pink rope? Yeah. I think TNA, did TNA do something like that before? Probably. They, they did, because I know AJ said it. Like, they're going all out now. Like, since we're talking about pink, like, uh, like, also, like, Orton was wearing the pink now, and they, like, announced that there's going to be, like, a, a breast cancer walk here in Massachusetts, like, put on by WWE. Is it by WWE? Yeah. Uh -huh. It has a WWE logo on it when they were talking about the walk. So, I don't know, like, what's going to go on with that. But, um... Yeah, like, I thought the crowd, I thought the crowd came off, I don't know how it came off, but I thought they were really good during the Cena Punk match. I thought, yeah. like, everyone was into it the whole time. Like, my voice is even, like, a little bit gone the because girl of that. The girl screaming her head off. She was telling you to step your game up yeah. on Cena. That's how much. I'm not that big of a Cena fan, so I'm not going to go all out. Oh, no. But I, I, I'll admit it, I was booing Punk and cheering Cena. That's for the first time ever, probably. Just because, uh... Punk was in pinstripes, that's the one, uh, New York Yankees signature thing, and we're in Boston, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cheer for scene, obviously, I'd be like, unloyal to Boston if I didn't. Yeah, so like, and I wanted to see a title change, I wanted to see one of Cena's reigns, I wanted to see it live, him win that live, but obviously. I wanted to see another title Happy change, like a second, I wanted to see Dolph cash in, and the people wanted it, they were, chan they were channeling, we want Ziggler during I thought the he was heavyweight. I thought he wasn't a cash in, and I... Still really don't know why I didn't. I thought it would have been a good time to cash in. Definitely. But yeah, like, the thing I'll take from this pay-per-view and from this time, like, I had a blast, obviously, but I'm going to take Cena and Punk away from this one. Yeah, but I'd have to say the same thing. Of course, like I said, Kane and Brian. Oh, yeah, that was good for you. Yeah. Your two favorites. We're going to Disneyland. I think I was at the concession stand. Yeah, you that. were. Divas match, so whatever. But, um... Yeah, so after the show, we uh, we were watching those people on the drums, threw them a dollar. Those people on the drums are definitely worth a dollar out of my wallet. And uh, we saw uh, Stephen Page, Triple H guy, 2004, shout out to him. He lost his phone, hopefully he found it. Yeah, he's probably still looking for it right now, it's 11.50, <laughs> who knows what's going on with him right now. But uh, yeah, we're at the Kowloon, we're about to go out, chill with Dylan. I don't know, I might go in and get something to eat, who knows. And uh, yeah, we'll probably be back after... Like, maybe we'll flip stuff of anyone that shows up here. Hopefully Cena shows up. Hopefully Dolph Ziggler shows up so we can have Kari Man vs. Dolph Ziggler. Yes, I'm ex waiting for that. CM vs. DZ, hashtag that shit right there. So, yeah, we'll be back. So we are here with Dylan. Respect my privacy. This is where it all went down. Yeah, Respect my here. privacy. See, he's coming out of his car, like, over there. And we're just like sitting right here, so right, like we're doing right now. And he just went and signed. It says, respect my privacy. Hey, Dylan, you want to show him something that you got from John Cena? Oh. There it is. One of one. Caught it from John Cena. It I heard, have, only, I heard that's little. only the tire for tonight, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm a little jealous of having that right there. Oh, me too. It's like connected to a highway. One. No one else is waiting over here. I can go over there. I should ask him to sign up by Matt Bloom. Get it long. You got a video? <laughs> You got like our truth over here. Oh no. Holla, holla, holla. And <laughs> that's nine years. Let me book a deal with it for a while. I ain't end up back there, but not right away. Punk is selling you guys down the river and you're all buying it. You're all buying it. Put it in the Everybody take your bargain. You're a good man. You are so have a great time. Thanks, bro. Thank you as well. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Thank you. Where's Lighthouse? Thank you. All right, okay. Thank you, Mr. Orton. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate. All right.
right, so we just got back home. It's 2.51 right now, and we're about to call it a night, but we promised that we'd be back, so we're back. Uh, you just saw all the stuff from the Kowloon. So, Adam, you want to talk a little about uh, the Kowloon? Yeah, uh, it was me, me and Dylan. Dylan was there, of course. Yeah, uh, shout out, Dr. Perfection. Yes, he was there. He was staying at the hotel next to the Kowloon. There's actually a red roof next to the Kowloon. So he was there. Uh, it was a lot. We met a lot of people, actually, like... Uh, the two big ones that I met were Randy Orton and Alberto Del Rio. I got them on my belt back there. Uh, it was great meeting them. I never met them before. Like, they never signed for me, but they actually did sign. Like, Orton was signed by his boss. And he was like, uh, you're lucky. Like, I had these shots of tequila in me. <laughs> or I wouldn't be out here signing. He was like, it's cold out here, man. Randy Orton was down to earth tonight because he was probably drunk. <laughs> Yeah, like, I was inside, so I was missing a lot of it. Like, I yeah, wasn't with you and Dylan. Yeah, he ate. Yeah, so, uh, like, I did see, like, Matt Stryker. He left for uh, two ring rats. Yeah. He <laughs> saw Primo. I uh, met Primo, and I also met, uh, R-Truth and Teddy Long. I got mm -hmm. them in my WrestleMania program. Yeah, but the highlight for me was for, uh, seeing Orton, like, right before we were leaving. Went over to Orton. People were starting like a 12 rounds reloaded chant to Orton, and Orton was like, I'm not an actor. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> like, he was just gone. He was funny tonight. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That was the Kowloon. Not and too much went on. People at the Kowloon, uh, there were these two kids and a uh, dude that was with them. They I actually... think that dude's name was Joe, actually. The Joe. dude in the suit. And he said he was going to look into Outdress Del Rio. Yeah, so shout out to them because yeah. they recognized me. I was pretty cool. They actually wanted to get a picture with me. <laughs> Uh, nice I'm just picture. a regular guy, but uh, just shout out to them. They said they watch our videos. It's cool. Yeah. So uh, that's going to do it right now. 253. Signing out right here. Night of Champions. Had a blast. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back whenever. I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. Peace.